Yeah, my name is Mark Devereaux. Mark Devereaux Projects first started out when I was listening, talking to artists that I was working with. I think what he wants to do is actually focus on the artists to move their careers forward. It's in a very sort of dedicated one-to-one -one way. I've never worked with him previously before um, MDP. I took quite a lot of time to research different artists based in the Northwest, find out as much as I could about their practices beforehand. And he saw my work and we chatted and I didn't see him again for a while. I sort of selected a relatively small number of artists to go and visit in their studios. Mark came back the following year and then he started to talk about this exciting plan that he had and he started to describe Mark Devereaux projects. Yeah, I think Mark's very sharp actually with his curatorial style. To really sort of talk to them to find out even more. We had a session where he sort of asked us um, 120 questions to find out stuff about our practice, which is great. To really get to know them, um, on many different levels, not just on a sort of professional level. I was just buzzing with ideas, I had a whole new direction that I wanted to travel in, I was starting to make new work. And this exhibition, Means of Feedback, is all about really introducing the organisation, what we're trying to do, the ethos of supporting these really exciting early career artists and showcasing brand new work. Although our practices are actually really quite different. There are enough um, connections that you get lovely little kind of buzzes between works. There's something about the way that we use a kind of mixture of abstract and figurative sort of rolled into one. We're all sculptural in different ways. We wanted to sort of push it and make sure pretty much everything is new work. I think that's where a lot of really interesting, exciting work comes because sort of pushing those boundaries. I'm Nicola Ellis and I'm one of the artists working with uh, Mark Devro um, at the launch of Mark Devro Projects. Nicola Ellis works on this very big scale, these quite rough materials. I've seen her show at Corner House that she did the four exhibition and from the talk that she gave through that, that sort of sold me her enthusiasm and her love of what she was doing. Uh, my name's David Ogle. Uh, and I'm here at Q for the launch of Mark Devereux projects. I'll be showing uh, a couple of works in the show. I've worked with David Ogle for probably a couple of years now um, through Blank Media Collective, so I knew that both he was making exciting work and also that he's ambitious and really forward-thinking in what he wants to do in his practice. My name is Nicola Dale. I'm a visual artist, primarily a sculptor and I will be showing three pieces in this exhibition. Um, Nicola Dale I'd known about since I moved to Manchester, probably about six or seven years ago, um, and sort of been keeping my eye on and sort of watching what she'd been doing. Um, the first is a piece from last year called 8,866 Full Stops for Spinoza, and two new pieces, one is called The End, and the other is called The Weight Between Words. And The Weight Between Words has been specifically commissioned by Mark Devereaux for this exhibition. Yeah, working with incredibly delicate, fragile materials. And I think there would be a nice contrast between the two Nicola's work, actually. Really exciting artists. I think they've got um, big futures ahead and I'm really excited to be part of that process. Just really wanting to get in here, get in installing the work. Um, show what this last six months has all been about and really show the amazing work that the artists are making. This exhibition, um, all the sort of planning towards this, working with Cube Gallery. You're sort of working around in a horseshoe shape around a central structure and I think it, it makes for quite a good um, sort of journey around the space really. So, you know, it, it's one by one, it's one by one. And I think because I know, uh, certainly with me, there'll be a big piece of sculpture and then um, it's going to be sort of punctuated by, you know, the, the works on paper. Um, working with different partners and then also launching a publication at the same time. So there's been all these different sort of elements that we've been working towards that are coming to a point as we speak. On Monday, um, they brought a big van round to our three uh, studios and everything piled into the van and we dropped it all off here. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, we actually were doing the install. We're on a short install this time, but 
Um, yeah, it's okay. I think as long as you're prepared, it's no problem. We've had to really plan the show out. You have to make sure everything looks as good as it can possibly look. I mean, obviously things like lighting as well can take a lot longer than you, than you think because you need to get it just right. I really enjoy sort of making things in kit form, sort of understanding that there is this framework that it must be transported this way, it must be able to fit through this gap, it must be able to be lifted by two people up, you know, X amount of stairs, sort of feeds into the shape of the thing or how the thing is made anyway. One of the key things with any light-based work is always cutting out as much kind of ambient lighting as possible, it's something I have to, have to work with quite a lot when doing new installations. So that's been the first thing really creating a, a kind of enclosed environment where other light isn't creeping in and kind of diluting the light from the actual work. Didn't know Nicola or David all that well at all and um, we've got on like a house on fire and it's just been, it's been really nice. As it's coming up now, it's looking good. Um, ask me that tomorrow. With Nicola Dale's work, it's all about the exploration of knowledge and how information's stored and how that sort of changes. So the weight between words consists of two aluminium discs and on top of these two discs, on one disc there are three pieces of lead type, spaces rather than letters so they'd be put in between words. This type represented a gap or a pause and it had some actual weight whereas now it doesn't exist anywhere. So what I've done for this piece is actually um, make um, an equivalent weight of these three pieces of lead type out of tissue paper. The other new piece is called The End. Uh, a few years ago I carved a book out of stone and I left it to get weathered for about four years. Bits have broken off, there's been things living in it, it's grown a bit of moss. Um, and I've actually sort of stabbed it with book binding awls. And then around the book binding awls you'll see a wrap these long pieces of plastic cable and on the plastic cable there are um, little black circles and those circles represent all the full stops from the final sections from five different books about the end of the world. And the final piece which is from last year, uh, a similar premise, it's about a philosopher called Spinoza and it's all the full stops from his piece of work and um, it's called The Ethics. In the show I'm showing a few different drawings and a new installation piece built on site. Um, which comes out of the idea of making drawing as a kind of spatial thing. He is drawing with light, essentially. The way that I think that I work with space, using the, the boundaries of a, of a space and just letting the, the work kind of almost make itself. Pieces that aren't necessarily sort of confined to a gallery space, a white walled space, but reacting to different environments. Starting out with the kind of process for, for making a work on paper, and you're then kind of replaying that as a kind of object that people can maybe interact with a bit more than they can do something on a flat surface. But I have shown with David before in the Neo Arts Prize in Bolton last year um, and he was building sort of an internal space in the space then as well. And it kind of shapes the way that someone responds to the space. It's, it's going to be a bit of a showstopper that one. I think people will just turn the corner and go, I didn't expect that and I think that will be really good. So Nicola Ellis's work um, is all about the form and the material and exploring different materials. A lot of her sort of previous work has been made in her studio space and then brought to a gallery space. I'm currently installing a big three-legged piece um, called Osseus. It's a big white tripod covering, um, covered in a substance called um, paper mache clay and that's like a combination of uh, mixed up toilet paper, bleach, uh, some fillers, uh, PVA glue and white flour so it's, it's really weird stuff. So one of the things that we're talking about already is how we can react to spaces more as though they're sort of natural objects and they have their own movement and their own sort of function almost. Of all the pieces in the show that just looks like it's from that room, it looks like it was born there. I mean the proportions, the way it sits, the light and the shadow on it, I just I think it's a really beautiful piece of work, it's excellent. Which is great and it's worked, we'd like to sort of push that on forward. I'm just trying to strip the surfaces back. I think the trick with the type of work that I'm making is, is not to be too prescriptive, so um, my practice is process-led. So I'm okay to give certain bits of information away about what things are made of and because that all feeds into, you know, visual experience and the thing. Um, 
but the, the pieces of work, although they're informed by those processes and that's why I'm interested in making them, is, is to develop new ways to use materials. I think people just need to experience them and then you've just got to let things be on their own, I think. She's done a cracking job of making it and it, it's just, I'm full of admiration, I think it's really good. If we can get people to sort of stop, think, engage on whatever level, then I'm happy. I think not everyone likes every piece of artwork and I would never want that. There are all these other people out there in the world, it's not just arty people. The strongest reactions are sometimes the best. You never really understand what it is that you've done until it's put in public view for the first time. Until those first few people trickle in through the door and I can see the reaction on their faces and that's what tells me a piece has worked or it hasn't worked. The launch of Mark Devereux Projects and Means of Feedback is at Cube Gallery in Manchester until the 17th of July. The website is www.markdevereuxprojects.com.